Last week in the first family of MMA, the Gracies celebrating the 100th birthday anniversary of the founder, the legendary Elio Gracie. The family started with, appropriately enough, a seminar in the morning. They finished with dinner that night, and it was culminated by the unveiling of a painting of Elio commissioned by the artist uh, Stephen Holland. It was just beautiful, and everyone was there. Everyone it was, it seemed. A star-studded guest list spoke about the day. Today we are celebrating 100 years of Elio Gracie, who is my grandfather, who is my instructor, who is every single Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner in the world's grandmaster. Just a celebration to everybody in the, in the martial arts world and this family in particular and all of us who've trained with the Gracies for many years. He's not around with us anymore, but he's still rocking the show because of him. We're here tonight at San, at 100 years old. Here comes the Gracie clan. You don't realize until you see the videos and you start seeing all these emotions how cool and amazing feeling it is to be part of this family and be part of the history with him. It's a special night to be here to celebrate the legacy that he left. And I'm so glad that I got invited and, and considered part of the family. I just want to say thanks for Mr. Elio Grace for everything because if Elio Grace didn't do that, we can be here. Elio Gracie is the original ultimate fighter in every sense of the word. He would basically test himself against any martial artist, any discipline, any size, any rules. Without Jiu Jitsu, there is no MMA. So, I mean, the guy has revolutionized the way martial arts are practiced, revolutionized the way martial arts have been taught. He's the Christopher Columbus of Jiu Jitsu. So, uh, I mean, you, you just you can never forget him. He, he's the Grand Master. He's the reason we're all here. He's the reason Jiu Jitsu is so successful. His legacy is huge. I mean, it's one of the staples in mixed martial arts. They gave uh, our sport a platform, you know what I mean, in, in competition and in, in to, to see how much it's grown to where it is today. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Anybody who does MMA, anybody who watches and loves MMA, anybody who loves Jiu Jitsu or practices Jiu Jitsu or is in love with someone who practices Jiu Jitsu has been influenced by Elie Gracie. Well, he was the one who, who made it possible for somebody who was weaker to defeat a stronger, tougher opponent. You know, for like people who weren't necessarily fast or big or strong or young, uh, and, but that they could still protect themselves if they had to. And that was his goal. More than just the technique, I think the whole vibe of bringing people together in this, in this vision that he had, in this lifestyle, and this kind of way that he would look upon, you know, how to live life and how to treat other people, that's what people are really attracted by. I think my grandpa would be very happy that people are, you know, studying jiu-jitsu in all the different gyms and, you know, really getting a little more in-depth and understanding. It's just wonderful and exciting to see that his dream has been uh, fulfilled to a large extent, I would say, and seeing so many people around the world practicing this stuff that he loves so much. Indeed, a great tribute to uh, a legend that is perpetuated through his family and close friends uh, throughout the world of MMA. It's crazy. If you look at the history, his brother Carlos actually started, then he we trained with Maida, and then he started, and he wanted to fight Kimura. That's where the Kimura came yeah. from. But first, he had to fight Kito. And then he beat Kato, who was the number two of Japan. I mean, there's a whole story there. It's really cool. And then he fights this much heavier, 35 kilogram heavier, which is like 80 pounds or something, opponent in Kimura. And uh, got a lot of respect there. And that's how it all started. There was another side story there. You saw Munoz was there, and along with Machida. They're going to have to fight each other because Michael, Michael Bisping got injured. We were telling you about about that last week. These guys are friends. They're training partners. They don't seem too excited about it. Here's what they had to say. I mean, we were training at the Gracie Academy together uh, just two days prior to the fight getting announced official. And it was a shock. That fight is going to be a great fight, but, you know, we are your friends. You have, you, you have been trained together for this camp. But that things happen. We got to put 25 minutes aside, you know, go out there, perform the way we perform, and, you know, say winner, winner, winner buys dinner, you know. So, uh, you know, we're still going to have our friendship afterwards. And coming up now is a man. Marchita looked uh, very slim. Yes, he did. Middle he age. did. He's ready. Middle age. He's ready. Middle age. You know, coming up now is a guy, he probably going to have this situation. You know,